All right, it's the uh, 22nd of March out here, and we got uh, this thing back. Little Honda Acorn. Um, it's actually a really nice little car. You know, it's got the crusty paint and whatnot, but it's a really nice car. 173,000 miles on it, and uh, anyway, today it's in here for uh, some front axles and uh, seals. About two and a half years ago, put a timing belt on it and water pump, etc. And I noticed the uh, axle boots were all torn up. But uh, no clicky click or anything. Anyway, at the time and I bought, uh, went ahead and bought a pair of axles. They're down here. So uh, I've got axles on hand. Oh, you know, I knew they need to be done at some point, but it's uh, now two and a half at least years later, and it's time. They're going click, click, click. I bought some seals today for the tranny, so I've got those to put in as well. And I've never done this before on a Honda. So I have no idea what I'm doing, disclaimer. If I knew what I was doing, I'd be better at it. Uh, this is not a how-to. It's a how I'm gonna do. And um, take it for what it's worth and uh, enjoy. You can laugh at me, whatever you wanna do. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's all good. So uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do today is uh, put some axles and seals in this thing. At least I'm gonna try. All right, I guess I'm going to start on the uh, driver's side here, so I'm going to need to jack it up in the air. i um, going to put some uh, wheel chocks behind, make sure we're, uh, you know, I'm not going to be rolling out the rolling out the door here, and then I'll uh, commence to working on this thing, but yeah, safety third, so. All right, driver's side uh, is off. I'm up on uh, some jack stands. Um, so the way I learned... Uh, or tried to figure out how to do this was you know watching some videos and uh, I watched several and I don't think any two of them did this the same way there were some similarities and some differences so I'm gonna pick and choose the the options anyway right here you can see that that nut is smashed down into this kind of a keyway looking thing and that's how they lock these these nuts on the axle. So first thing I'm going to do is try to knock that out a little bit before I try to spin it off. Yeah, there's some other things to take apart. You got to take the lower ball joint and um, I guess apparently some of the axles will fit through these wishbones, some of them won't. All the videos I watched they did not so I got to go ahead and take that apart down below there as well. Some people took this knuckle off on the uh, on the tie rod, some people didn't so I'm going to try without one less thing to disturb. Um, some people took the uh, brake line loose up here, some people didn't. With what I'm going to try to do, I don't think I need to. So, um, yeah. Some folks took caliper off, some didn't. I'm not going to. So, uh, I'm going to pick and choose the, uh, you know, the pieces of the methods that I watched and see if I'm successful at this. And if I'm not, you know, I can always alter my method. I have something here that'll get me underneath that to get it moved, but uh, yeah, I'd uh, kind of hope to be driving the little red uh, diesel truck by now, but um, yeah, I've got some problems with it. I made a video last weekend, I did not post it, however, and uh, I may or may not. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright. Alright, I ought to have what I need here. Uh, some 17s. And, uh, alternatively oriented side cutters. One of these guys. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take the lower ball joint loose first. And I'll make a pile right in here where I won't kick it. Okay. Huh. Yeah, all this stuff looks pretty good under here. All the bushings, all that kind of monkey business. Look pretty nice. Please. Uh, we did the uh, EGR 
passage a while back, cleaned it out. And I got some, some thumbs down on that. People didn't like what I did, but that's all right. We passed emissions and the uh, check engine light has not returned. So apparently we did what it needed um, to fix the issue. So I'm happy about that. Uh, seems a lot of keyboard jockeys know better than uh, the people that actually have greasy hands. But uh, that's okay. One thing I do know about my experience, even though, you know, I don't really know anything, is that uh, I have never paid a mechanic to work on any of my cars. So that's a, you know, that's a pretty good thing to say when you've been driving for well over 40 years. And you've never had to pay anybody to work on your shit. Excuse that language, but uh, yeah. Alright, the uh, ball joint, uh, I got the nut off, now I'm going to take this wishbone thing out of here. That's a walking style nut there. It does not have a, on this particular one anyway, it does not have a uh, cotter pin, so. Let's see if I can get that guy out of there. Alrighty. There's that. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, set this aside. Nice. All right, a little wedgie action and a couple taps. And uh, pop that guy loose. Go ahead and take this little uh, castle nut off. Put it in the pile. Yeah, theoretically now I can uh, take this all apart, but we're going to have to wait and see. I know that uh, uh, there was another tool they were using. Okay. There we go. Just kind of hold that back out of the way. There we go. Just pop it loose uh, inside there. What you have on the splines is a little round snap ring kind of deal. And that's what you're popping loose there when you do that. So now we're going to go back out of here and pull this axle out of the hole. Grab the new one out of the box and make sure it's the correct one before I put this back. All right, we can see what's going on here. The old boots just. Uh, torn up and uh, like I said it was torn two and a half years ago and uh, I knew I was going to put an axle in it. I don't do boots anymore. Alright, actually that looks like a fairly decent part. Nice, okay. So, uh, uh, looking like they'll work. So, um, yeah, that's uh, what we got going on there. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, go up in that tranny and I'm going to replace the seal that goes right here. Um, I went and bought a pair of seals today. They are uh, different side to side so I'll have to make sure I replace the correct one. Um, yeah you can see the difference there. But the one here is the one that uh, is like the one I pulled out so that'll be the one I put in on this side. and. Uh, yeah. I was trying to figure out how I was going to put this seal in. It's got this uh, lip that sticks outward and you want to push on the, the edge, you know, the collar of this. And I don't have a socket large enough to fit down over that. And I don't want to, you know, take a chance on smashing this and whatnot. So I was digging through some tools I had. Uh, I have a drawer full of what I call odd tools. And uh, I had these things from many many years ago and what they are is seal installers and it and it just happens to be the one I need for this one right here so uh, yeah that's how I will install that and then you see it's got a little indent here and that is for uh, this item here which fits right down in there 
and uh, that's how you go tappy tap to get it in. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started and uh, tappy tap. A uh, quick note uh, with this guy here, no tappy tap required. You can just basically just kind of push it in. It's pretty nice. And it's in and flush, and uh, I'm a happy guy. All right, the way I'm lubing this, this, the end of this axle up to put it in the transmission, I took just a tiny bit of grease and put on this little snap ring thing here, um, just enough basically to hold it centered when I slip it in there to click into place. And then I'm not putting any grease here on the uh, seal race um, because if you've ever looked at one of these seals and you look inside, um, they have little kind of teeth on the rubber that are at an angle and that's directional and uh, it's to throw oil back in. If you grease this surface and slide it into your seal you're going to plug all those little things up with grease. You don't want to do that because this is an automatic and it has you know a very lightweight oil in there. So the way I'm going to go ahead and lube that little surface is I'm just going to take a little bit of Marvel Mystery Oil and throw a few drops on there and just kind of work it around. That way it's uh, you know very thin oil and uh, it won't have a problem with that uh, ATF later. So that's what I got. I got my can of marble here. I'm going to turn this this way. Get that back out of the way. And then with the other hand, get that up there where it won't fall. Okay. There we go. See, I got this uh, wishbone over out of the way. I'm not putting stress on this, this hose here. Um, so we're in good shape there. And that will allow me to get this axle fed up in between here. That's the first first order of business. In there. And in there. Very good. And then, slide it in a bit. I'm going to keep the other end off of things. I don't want to ding it up. Just put it right there. Perfect. Just barely balancing off of that guy. So I can get under there and get a hold of it now. Go ahead and get it fed up into the transmission without banging on anything, hopefully. Nice. There it is. Okay. That's in and uh doesn't want to pull back out, so my little snap ring snapped. All right, reverse procedure. You know, I never owned a Honda. Uh, the more I work on it, though, the the more I like it. It's a decent, uh, decent car. It's very well designed. I've got to get my ball joint back together right there. Okay, then you got this long, long one that goes down in through the wishbone. And uh, one of the people I watched on YouTube had mentioned that you shouldn't tighten this one tight until you're back sitting on the ground with weight on it. Because you can, uh, if you tighten it down on the bushing in this position, it'll put stress on the bushing, is the way I assume, or what I assumed he, he meant. Uh, when you put it back down on the ground, it'll stress the bushing. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on, but not tight. And then once it's sitting on the ground, I'll tighten it and the other one. Um, so remind me when I'm all said and done to do that. Tighten up. Uh, that's going to be my weapon of choice on this guy. I don't want to use like a chisel and cut it. I just want to kind of put a dent down there. And I think that's kind of what they had in mind. So first I just uh, kind of snug them down with this guy. And then I'll put it on the ground and torque them down. And I have to remember to tighten the wishbone underneath here and uh, 
that'll be that for this side. I still have to do the other side, which is a shorter axle, basically the same same monkey business except a shorter axle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But uh, one side of this done in a little less than an hour. That includes monkeying with the camera and uh, having never done this before. So for the 22nd out here, thanks for watching. Snug the old wishbone down.